Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your reading for December. Thank you so much for tuning in. And of course, it's your birthday season. I didn't forget. <laughs> Happy birthday to all my sun Sagittarius out there. I hope you guys have an amazing time celebrating your special day. Okay, feel free to leave your birthday in a comment box. It's something we do on this channel. Okay, you can find your birthday twin and I get a chance to congratulate you on the personal level and send you some of that positive energy. Okay um right um something on more uh on the astrology part there's a lot of action happening in your second house so expect things to come in for you it could be a job opportunity could be you know some new finance resources could be just some money you know coming in to you for you it's an um it can come in many different ways but it has a lot to do with your finances and your sources of income okay so get ready because there's something new coming towards you so um you if you have had a lot of trouble with finding a job or something in that area expect things to speed up okay be open for that mm, let me see i want to start off with the goddess guidance deck i want to get a card for you guys which you get too because of course it's your birthday so let's do two let me see we have easy does it and inner goddess wow powerful cards next to each other there's a lot of hair going on are you dealing with a leo <laughs> are you a rising leo like your hair <laughs> um let's get serious okay i don't know i'm getting this goofy vibe from you guys i don't know if that's something that's coming up for you but um i don't know let's just vibe with it easy does it there's no need to hurry or force things to happen everything is occurring in perfect timing okay so take a deep breath in it's all coming in divine timing towards you then you have an, the second card which is inner goddess awaken the goddess within you through dance through self-care and appreciating appreciating sorry your divinity okay so let your feminine energy come forward whether you're masculine or feminine doesn't matter we both have equal amount of same energy within us so go out have fun dance i don't know maybe you do salsa dancing or something like that but make sure your spirit goes up you go up then go out and do all of that okay <laughs> and um you know exactly like self-care so just pamper yourself all the things that just make you feel more grounded and make you feel at peace and also more in the in the energy of just trusting the flow of the timing not rushing things not trying to push them too much that's not december okay december is for just letting things come to you oh just be open with your energy surrender to whatever circumstances are happening all the events are playing out in divine timing so let things shift for you because they're moving into a better you know direction all right i feel like i am in a rush with your reading i don't know maybe you guys just want me to jump to the tarot i don't know who's giving me that energy <laughs> but i feel like okay i gotta talk quick because i have to get it over with let's get to the thing maybe you're just busy i don't know <laughs> let's calm this energy a little bit okay Sag. i'm excited for you guys i love sagittarius season wow didn't i tell you about the money was not just talking about the money lord i love this don't force things to be in a certain way be open with your energy expect things to get better because here you are four of pentacles seeing just going by what you see going by the options you have but you are expanding your energy and look at that wow december is powerful for you guys i mean i know this shift in your second house is powerful because it's not just um jupiter moving into capricorn but it's also the solar eclipse on the 26th in capricorn in the month of december but i'm not going to get too technical on you guys i'm just saying there's a lot of energy around your money and it's good because it makes you feel secure like you feel financially stable and secure and then you feel like you can breathe again and can just 
look at things and do things because you want to do them not because you have to do them because of the money because that's not a way to live in the long term it's going to make you feel like deplete you of your energy like that vibrant exciting to try new things type of energy you know if you feel too stagnant if you feel too much hold back by those type of things it makes you stressed but we're not going to focus on that because look at that six of pentacles you you're getting into a stage Sagittarius where you are you even have enough to give to other people and that also makes you feel good you're such an amazing um you think you're a people person I don't know it's just you can sort of camouflage yourself in any type of group and you know be be a part of it and just be like fit into it but they're, what they're asking me during the meditation for you guys was to stop people pleasing this month. Stop people pleasing. It's different. There's a difference between people pleasing and just being kind or being generous or being loving. You know, sending out some energy. Just helping, giving a helping hand to something something else and then actually giving your whole arm. And then you have to function with one arm all month. You know, there's a difference between that. And I feel like you're bringing balance back into that. You see the balance scale over here? The balance scale. <laughs> there we go. Wow, it already looks great. I see people looking at you. It's like they just see you win. They see things rolling for you. Like I see people like, how does he do that? How does she do that? How did he you know it's really like um, i see it i feel that energy it's like bent back over like almost like you know a hat turner it's like wait what is he wearing now how does he get that gucci bag i'm just saying i'm just making a joke i'm not saying that a gucci bag should divine your type of you know what i'm saying okay <laughs> anyway while i'm shuffling oh well okay let's move on seven of wands standing your ground protecting something but what are you protecting is it are these your boundaries are these the people that come in to your life when you're doing good and when you're shining and when you're fun and when you have energy to give you know are they only calling you when you're doing good when they can get something from you do you feel the moment you get to a certain level again people start calling you again it's like an energetic energy nine of cups because you get a lot of stuff done this month and you get and receiving a lot of blessings look at that nine of cups it's like i don't have a care in the world i'm good <laughs> i'm good where i'm at i feel like you're also defending this position it's like i just want to keep my inner peace right now i don't want to fight other people's ba um, battles so what I'm hearing but here in nine of cups it's like you're feeling pretty content with what's going on with what's coming towards you it's also because you like sit here trusting that the ten cup is coming in you know all these nine cups already showed up you already kind of got what you wanted you're already receiving things so if you if you're really looking for a job the month of December if you put in that energy and open up to it I'm pretty sure you're gonna get it like they can't go around you this month your energy is too strong. All right, let me see. Also, watch what you eat this month, Sagittarius. Make sure that it's not overdated or anything like that. Because I do feel that you could have some stomach cramps or something like that. Just, you know, I don't know. I feel... Like, watch that, okay? Just make sure what you eat is safe. Knight of Swords, Five of Cups. Oh, yeah. Three of Cups. Two of Swords. I'm going to get some more cards out because they are sh um, sharing something with me right now. They're guiding me towards something. Exactly, yeah. Let's 
Ten of Cups. I told you a Ten of Cups coming. You knew this. You knew this was coming. <laughs> oh, and you knew this was coming. <laughs> I love how accurate your reading is. You see? Temperance. Ace of Wands. I can't. Like, I can't. I just can't. Okay? I cannot. Like, look at this. Here you are. Showing up with the Ace of Cups. I mean strength card this is the outcome it's all making sense to you it all will make sense to you it's all yeah it really is gonna becoming more and more clear for you Sagittarius because look you have the knight of swords with the five of cups so it, there was something maybe something left or you had to let something go, a person or a job or a situation, and you felt double about it. You felt like you really didn't really have a choice, like it was already made for you. Yet, there is not a lot of time to sit and ponder because instantly sh stuff changes. Like I said, trust the universe. If something gets removed by the beginning of December, trust it. Like by the end of November, beginning of December, trust that because it's making space. It's literally making space, creating room for the new things to come in. But it's also when you lay back and you trust that it, these things are coming in for you, you also create energetic space. You don't fill it up with overthinking, being, you know, uh, scared, holding on, anxious energy then you're also blocking things to flow in i really feel like you un start to understand that because you don't even have that much time to really go back and look at something it's like instantly three of cups you're not gonna sit here it's like there is we're taking you out okay <laughs> like the later what i'm hearing might not be like a literal situation but it might feel like that so um you're trying to come to a conclusion trying to make a decision i feel for some of you might be dealing with some um i feel like it has to do with with the heart like your heart feels a little heavy at times and i got you in the mind like you're trying to make sense out of it um but whatever got you in that overthinking space is getting removed is getting released you're coming out of that energy you're making your decision and you're making it for you and for your future because look we have the strength card that comes up so that means that you were dealing with something either it was mentally hunt, sort of hunting you or like pulling at you pushing you or it was a memory or was a past person that may have showed up during mercury retrograde in scorpio but I really do feel that no matter what it is, the lower energy that's around you, it's all being sort of lightened up in the month of December. It really is going to be an amazing birthday month for the ones who are watching this video. Like, trust this. Open up to it because even if you don't get all, you know, the money that is coming to you in the month of December, you will still have amazing time. You will still feel uh, loved. You feel embraced. You feel are feeling i think so moving forward so go with that it's not going to come in exact time for every and each sagittarius but it's the start of something because there's a shift happening you know and jupiter moving into your second house is not just going to be in the month of december it's going to stay there for a little bit okay for quite some time actually so expect things to smooth out and flow there but you're going to get an opportunity I feel really it is a financial opportunity and it's just giving the household more room again you know more peace within I've, it's gonna be beautiful like I really feel like something is coming towards you and you just feel happy like overall happiness overall abundance overall feeling satisfied with where you're at where your life is going where you're standing at your in your life right now so don't settle for anything that makes you feel like you just have to hold on so tightly otherwise you'll lose it or you know you're not you're not sure when something new is going to show up so you just hold on to your resources like a like a crap okay like maybe like a cancer energy like i'm holding on to this i'm not letting go <laughs> no be open with your energy because the thing is that you really just need this one pentacle to make it turn it into 10 but you really are going to get a financial energy here 
just like I said don't do the people pleasing just you know be your generous self yes but also towards yourself people pleasing often goes um you know it's 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 true sacrificing a part of yourself okay that you kind of need but you kind of want to give it to another as well because you want to see them smile and i get that it's so beautiful but sadly enough it also leads us to bump into people that take our your generous energy for granted okay and you want to make sure that you have set healthy boundaries because i know in the past you got burned a couple times you know with that so beautiful energy coming through for you guys very excited about this you're overall gonna feel much more like yourself again like that, that like i said the adventurous side of you is coming out you're getting excited again about the new year set your goals because you can achieve a lot in, the, in like this coming time and trust your intuition okay with that trust your intuition it's in divine like, divine timing and it's also helping you to draw in that energy quicker all right um wanted to do a pick a card reading real quick for you because but i don't know which deck let me see i'm going to pick the spirit message deck i think that might work okay three cards for sagittarius for the month of december please three cards for sagittarius Two, three. All right. Let me see. Take your time with choosing your card. I'm gonna ring the bell so you can tune into your intuition, into your third eye chakra. that's enough <laughs> first card reach out beautiful we know you're reaching out right now for help due to a current situation support is as much about the physical act of accepting help where it's offered as it is about the emotional benefits and learning that it's truly okay to accept support however it's presented to you so it's important to also be open to receive help all right to open to receive this energy it's as much as support uh, as important as extending the help that's what they're showing me that 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 tunes into that whole people pleasing energy all right card number two relationships relationships are just mirror images of our own life how you feel and treat yourself as well as how you react and respond to different situations and people around you be aware that every relationship is an opportunity for souls growth all right so whether like i said whether you recently ended a relationship or you're moving forward or you reconnect connected to somebody from the past and it sort of brought up all types of feelings and emotions try and learn and sit with it and um, find the reason find the lesson in it what did this person what does this or this situation teach to show you because it's all an opportunity for souls growth each and every person that uh, whether stays in our life comes back now and then or you know it's just with us for a sh small period of time they all have something to teach us all right card number three choices when you accept responsibility for your life and the choices you make you begin to tap into a power of your own spirit you'll be able to listen and appreciate the intuitive wisdom that's inside of you and apply it positively positively 
and constructively to your outside world. Know that as a, as a Sagittarius, you do have a very strong intuitive guidance. You do have the ability and the older you get, the more you learn how to effectively use this in your life. So you flow easier, easily through things. You know, it's all about the balance. But you do have a lot of special um, messages and energy coming to you as a Sagittarius. It really is important to, at one point in your life, try and get in connection with that. Right? I wish you guys an amazing birthday. Like I said, feel free to leave your birthday in the comment box. If you like this reading, then give it a thumbs up because it helps share it with other Sagittarius, okay? <laughs> but no pressure at all. Also, take a moment to consider the oceans, protect our oceans. I don't know. Um, I just wanted to spread that message. You know, it's important. We need our oceans to stay clean and healthy for all the species out there, okay? Anyway, I'm just rambling. I'm going to let you guys go. Enjoy yourself. I love you to the moon and beyond. And I'll send you all the positive energy that I got, all right? Love you guys. Bye, Sagittarius.